Hello, peasants. What an ugly thing to say. You're so ugly you could be a modern art masterpiece. But the ugly duckling has turned into a vaguely ethnic swan. I'm going to give you to the count of ten to get your ugly, yellow, no good keister off my property. You're ugly, and you're ugly, and your mother ugly, and your sister ugly. You just plain old ugly. The Ugly Uncle Show. What does this mean? With Chad Carpenter. But now I'm just fat and bald and I have hair on my back. Chris Matthews. So yeah, I was, I was pretty ugly as a baby. And Brandon Hartog. Apparently Jesus Christ was denied a driver's license. Isn't that awesome? Starts. And we're the three best friends that anybody could have. And we'll never, ever, 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 ever leave each other. Now. Talking about the respect in the SEC. And you had a comment, Brandon saying we're going to have to earn it on the field. And you're absolutely right. Totally agree with you. Mm -hmm. We do have video proof of basically how they were crazy calls. They were inexplicable. You cannot explain officiating being that poor. And that's where my That's where they got suspended. But here's the thing. You're talking about we're going to have to go out on the field and earn that respect. Absolutely true. Totally agree with you. We're going to have to step up there to do it. But we've got a coach now who – is willing to do that and put in the time to make that happen. And, and I appreciate do him doing that. Do but here's the thing. This coach and this team have to respect themselves first. And this is what they've gotten. And now he's demanding not just that respect from his coaching staff mm-hmm. and from his team, but he's saying as, hey, you're going to be around me and you're going to have these fans around me. You guys are going to start respecting what we're doing and how we're doing things. And he's earned that respect here among us locally. And well, it's a and shame his that team. the local media and the national media, well, you know what? Who cares about the national media? It's time that the local people start recognizing, hey, we're going to start showing this team some respect because they have earned it, mm-hmm. and it's time you, we start well, shaping up a little bit. And they're bit. putting in the work and, that, like you said, the hours and, and everything they need to be to earn that. And we see that where, as a national media, may not see the day-to-day. Hey, you had a big weekend this weekend. I did. I went skydiving for charity. How, <laughs> yeah, how was that? Sounds, that makes sense, right? Uh, it was good. It was good. You know, we went up and, and I jumped from 10,000 feet and reached about 140 miles an hour on the way down. Uh, shoot shoot went off. That's the, my favorite part. Absolutely. I get to come back here. But, yeah, um, it was all good. And we had to, it was my first time to jump out of a plane. So uh, I always like flying, but I've never had to actually jump out of one. So that was right. interesting. There is no way <laughs> in this lifetime that I am ever, 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 ever jumping out of a plane. You saw the video. What do you think? You're crazy. <laughs> a man as fat as you should never even leave the ground. <laughs> it's just not safe. It, it's causing the plane too much of a strain to even get up in the air. You should never jump out of a plane. It was funny because like, the, highest, the highest amount that... They would take tandem skydiving was 240. They're like, how much you weigh? I was like, uh, about 230. But you don't really want to lie too much on that. <laughs> you're right. like 280. <laughs> you know? what, what, if you're like at 241 and yeah. he pulls his shoot and it just comes off, he's like, really? <laughs> you lied to me? Because I think I we're, we're going to have to have a little come to Jesus. I think that guy, and you would literally be coming to meet Jesus. Yeah, <laughs> in just a couple minutes. Yeah. He he's probably got this thing that he can just like cut you away, right? <laughs> I would have been, yeah. like, you're two forty one and you start hearing clipping him on. You guys remember what happened to Batman, right? And Michael Keaton's Batman, he has to lift up King Kim Basinger and he asks her how much she weighs. And she says 108, and he only makes it halfway up. He had to cut himself from the line, fall like five stories, land in his back, get beat up by a bunch of criminals because Kim Basinger lied about her weight. So you can't do that so when you're talking of yeah. and climbing. Brandon's Brandon no Kim Basinger. I don't yeah. know if he's worth it. I don't know if he's That's worth right. five So stories. I skewed it at three or four pounds, but not enough to where he would be unclipping me as we're falling down. <laughs> like, <Right. laughs> got to lose the dead weight. Better one lose than the, the other. Yeah. All right. <laughs> <laughs> little, little, little. <laughs> and that would be literally the dead weight. So literally. seriously, you're in that situation. Let's say you're the professional. <laughs> yeah. You realize it's there's too much one. weight. <laughs> it's one of you's going to die or both of you's going to die. <laughs> what do you do? Oh, well, whoops, he fell. Uh, he you, slipped out of his harness. Right. Something. Well, who's Who are they going to talk to besides you? I mean, it's, they're not going to believe his story. He's dead. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <laughs> right. Dead, dead men tell no tales. Yeah, That's right. But we we did start going up, and and it started looking like we were getting pretty high. And I was like, you know, hey, I'll uh, 
how high are we are are we right now because we had to jump from ten thousand feet and you know the trees were getting pretty small and stuff and he looked at his little thing that said how high he was and he was like uh about 800 feet <laughs> oh so only 10 times as high all right well we'll be there in 15 minutes takes all of two to get down wow how long did it take you it took two minutes and what well i free fell for 35 seconds and that was a little over half of the distance so it took about 15 to get all the way to 10,200 feet i think and it literally 35 seconds halfway down that and then we probably glided probably seven or eight minutes just you know chilling and looking out over everything we pulled it never 40, gonna do it i'll never know that experience we pulled it uh 4500 feet i am wrote it down not that much of an adrenaline junkie where i feel the need to jump out of a plane we're here with fred tally it doesn't matter if you're running fast or if you're tipping you get hit harder you know actually the slower you're going so we're back with uh cory back i looked at that man and I call goosebumps uh, the very game, man. I said, man, you know, when I when I run out as a hog, I want to feel this. And we are pleased to <laughs> to have with us in the studio today, Coach Hatfield. We right. saw that you could be as good as there was in the nation, being from the state of Arkansas. We're talking to Jonathan Modica today. I always knew I was the most talented or skilled basketball player, but you know, I wanted to use you know the natural ability that I had, right. my, my strength and things like that, to actually get buckets. So. You know, that's what I tried to do. We have in studio with us a great Razorback. He was drafted in the fifth round by the New York Giants, Mitch Petras. They called me when I was coming back, you know, coming back to Arkansas, and I said, uh, well, I'll be up there as soon as I get my scholarship. This is Chad Carpenter, your ugly uncle. Chris Matthews. And Brandon Harton. The Ugly Uncle Show is going to be doing a live remote this Monday from 2 to 4 in Salem Springs, Arkansas at Russell Cellular. I love live remotes. Hey, Ugly, I hear we're going to be giving away a couple free Razorback football tickets. Absolutely right, and we'll also be giving away a football signed by Bobby Petrino. I love football signed by Bobby Petrino. There's going to be some hungry people out there. Zaxby's will be providing food and drinks, plus we'll have games, giveaways, and so much more this Monday from 2 to 4, Russell Cellular, Salem Springs, Arkansas. Let's go to break. This is Chad Carpenter, your ugly uncle. Welcome to the Ugly Uncle Show. We are here today at Verizon Wireless, Russell Cellular, 2737 Martin Luther King Boulevard. This is the Ugly Uncle Live at On The Mark 3. We are here for fight night. This is Chad Carpenter, your ugly uncle. We are out here at Buffalo Wild Wings in Fayetteville, Arkansas, 32 West Joyce Boulevard. Come on in, stop by, grab you some wings and a drink. Do it, probably good in the name of love. Move away, my love. It it's five good. o'clock somewhere, right? <laughs> 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 that is awesome, Uncle Do it. I hope uh, I hope yeah. Aunt Phyllis is going to have supper yeah, ready for me today. We're a little off today, right? Phil, I think you're a little off most days, but that's all right. Girl. We got Wade chiming in on the fatties today. Wade, how are you doing? <laughs> Doing pretty good. Good. Doing pretty good. Hey, Wait. Uh, well, what are we going to do about tall people that block you, that sit down in front of you? Are we going to start charging more for those people, too? You got to, Wade. Come on. For, for the tall people? Uh, I'm being sarcastic, obviously, Wade. Oh, hey, no. hey, wait. We try to solve problems one at a time here. <laughs> <laughs> we are joined by Greg Doyle of CBS Online Sports. Greg, how are you doing today? I'm good. I've never been on with an ugly uncle before. Here's, here's the question I want to ask you. Have you ever had an original thought in your life? <laughs> <laughs> That's a great question. Hi, this is Corey Beck with the 1994 National Championship team. You're rocking with the Ugly Uncle Show, and if you're not listening, you are an idiot. Pig suey. Hey, Hog fans out there. This is Michael Smith, former running back for the Arkansas Razorbacks, and if you're not listening to the Ugly Uncle Show, man, you're an idiot. Hi, this is Fred Talley, former Razorback number 20. And if you're not listening to the Ugly Uncle Show, you're an idiot. 